Okay, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. And once again, it's another edition of In My Kitchen. And uh, this, the reason why I'm doing this video is to give you an idea of uh, real foods that you can cook. Right? Because when you, when you cook your own food... I'm about to go through what I have here. When you cook your own food, you can control the salt in your food. First of all, number one, you can put real salt, which is a Himalayan pink salt, which I use in, in my uh, Google the benefits of Himalayan pink, pink salt. Each food that I mention, what you do is you Google the benefits of it for the body, what it does for the body, all right? The, the, when the Heavenly Father created the different foods, real foods, not chemically processed food garbage. We're not talking about that on this channel. We're talking about real food. When the Heavenly Father created real foods, He created them with a specific purpose for a specific part of the body. Like kidney beans. Kidney beans are good for the kidney. That's why if you look at a kidney bean, it's shaped like the kidney. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, and His great wisdom... When he created foods, he created foods to help the body. Food is supposed to help the body. There's an old saying, let food be your medicine. I think it was Hippocrates that said that. Let food be thy medicine and thy medicine be food. But when he, was, when he said that, he wasn't talking about a pack of M&Ms, all right? Or he wasn't talking about Popeye's fried chicken, okay? He was talking about real food, all right? So... This is an idea to give you, you brothers out there, you brothers that know how to cook, and you sisters that know how to cook, ain't too many of you, because <laughs> I guess you're too busy having fun. You women, you should learn how to cook, man, okay? And you brothers, so you don't rely on these women as much, you should learn how to cook. Cook for yourselves. Anyway, um, I learned how to cook a long time ago, you know, so let me start with this here. What you're looking at is... um. Uh, what you're looking at is, uh, I told you about the best rice that you can eat. Uh, black rice is number one. Uh, number two is wild rice, and number three is brown rice. But you got to check the brown rice, uh, where, where it, um, what kind it is. Um, I like to go with uh, Lundberg. Google the benefits of uh, Lund Lundberg brown rice. They're supposed to be very... Uh, uh, very concerned with the rice that they that they produce the Lung, Lungberg uh, group. Uh, again, Google uh, Lungberg. Uh, I remember I um, read it a while back how they're very particular with their rice. Well, anyway, they got this brand called the Wild Rice Blend. It's a blend of different rices, and uh, it's very easy to cook. The way you cook rice is one pot or one cup. Let me show you right here. One cup of rice to two cups of water. And, and uh, you keep your eye on it. And what you want, you want it to be nice and... You want it to be nice and fluffy like you see here. Okay. Nice and fluffy. And when I cook my rice, I like to chop onions in it. Okay. But that's just me. I like to chop... I love onions. The onions are very good for the for the colon, okay? Helps you go to the bathroom. By the way, when you eat like this, when you go to the bathroom, you're gonna see logs. And you know what I you know what I'm talking about when I say logs. Now imagine if you you know you, you go to these fast food joints. That's why you don't get a you, <laughs> you don't get a, a real crap when you go to the bathroom, man. Eh? Uh, I hate to be explicit. But I got to drive home the point. You, you don't get a real good bowel movement when you go to these, these fast food restaurants. Fast food equals fast death. Okay? This is sim simply put, earlier I was watching a video. And um, uh, this, this, this dude that I watched, he was going into, a, a, you know, the story of Harlem. And he, and, uh, he showed a picture of, uh, you know, uh, an early picture of so-called black Americans. Uh, migrating from the south to Harlem and not one of them was fat not one it was men and women not one was fat 
And this, this had to be around the early 1900s, maybe the 1910s, 1920s. Now, why is that? Because back then they were eating real food. The reason why so many people are fat and morbidly obese is because of, because of their diet, man. They're eating all that chemical, chemically processed shit. We gotta, we gotta, we supposed to know bro better, brothers, and you few sisters out there. We gotta stop with that, okay? I mean, as much as the Harbashim Yasha will give us, we gotta learn to cook our own food, okay? So, uh, you know, this is gonna be my meal later tonight. I got the wild rice here, which wild rice is excellent for the benefits. Google the benefits of wild rice. Then I, I hooked up some chicken I had left over. This is the organic chicken there. I just all I did was um, take some uh, coconut oil here, drizzle it. You know, this the coconut oil is very good for you. Uh, drizzle it over the chicken. Put some paprika and some uh, cayenne pepper. I, 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 the reason why you see it has such a nice coating is because I, I um, put a lot of cayenne pepper on there. Cayenne pepper is, is very good for the blood. Okay, and when you drink the, which I like gravy, man, <laughs> you know, Pastor Tar gets on me about that, but, you know, I like to sip gravy for my meal sometime, and, um, you know, when you, when you, uh, with all the kind of pepper I put in there, when you sip the gravy, man, the gravy is, is like, <laughs> you know, it's like, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like real spicy, you know, I like, I like my food spicy, so, there you go, so, that's all I did. Very simple. Nothing too extravagant. And finally, the old steamer. I told you brothers about the steamer. Comes in very handy. This is what you can do with the steamer. You can you, you, you chop your vegetables, right? I got some cauliflower here. I got some broccoli here. And I got some cabbage over here. And some, and some uh, asparagus. Now Google the benefits of each one. The benefits of cauliflower. The benefits of broccoli, the benefits of uh, asparagus, and purple cabbage, which is what I got here. Now imagine if you eat this, right? You put this all together on a nice little plate, right? And you have this. First of all, that's going to carry you for, like, let's say, okay, right now the time is um, the time is um, 5:30. So let's say I start eating around 6:30, right? By seven o'clock, I'm done. Now this meal will carry me for for all of the night into a good part of the first part of the day. So by twelve thirty, going into one o'clock, two o'clock, I'm ready to eat. Okay, this is how we should eat. We should eat real foods. Okay. So this video is just to give you an example. Now, check this out. You can have a simple meal like this, right? Wild rice. And you can open up a can of wild sardines. Google the benefits of uh, wild sardines. If you're going to buy uh, it in a can, make sure you get this brand here. This is one of the top brands, Wild Planet. Okay. Whoa. Wild Planet. It's all right. No harm, no foul. Wild Planet, uh, an extra virgin olive oil with lemon lightly smoked okay good eating right here man they say that uh, wild caught sardines is excellent for the brain you know for the for the brain among its many benefits so you take this right and you hook it up with some wild rice you got yourself a meal that'll carry you for 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 a while you won't get hungry eating this now the thing with uh the thing with um, with fast food, two hours later, you're still hungry. Because you know why? I'll tell you why. Because it's not real food. This, my brothers and you few sisters out there that watch these videos, this is real food. This is fuel for the body. Real food. Okay? Especially this stuff right here. Look, I can't begin to tell you the benefits. This is called cruci cruciferous vegetables. I can't begin to tell you the benefits of eating cruciferous, cruci uh, cruciferous, the hard word to say, cruciferous vegetables <laughs> every day, or at least most of the week. 
this thing will send you to the bathroom and you will, man, you will S-H-I-T like you never believe. This is the colon cleanser right here, man. Okay? Excellent for the body. Okay? Broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, uh, asparagus. Each one has multiple benefits. Google each one. Don't be lazy. Arm yourselves with this knowledge. Because what it's going to do is going to force you to start eating right. Give up all this chemical crap, this fast food crap, and go back to real food. Like I told you, in that picture that the dude showed, it was a migration of so-called black people from the South migrating to New York, to Harlem. Not one of them was fat. Not one. Now show that same picture of, of a family migrating today. I guarantee almost all of them are going to be fat. Our people are just too fat, especially our women, man. Our women are morbidly obese. And the reason why is because, they look, check out their diet. They eat all the wrong foods. And when you're morbidly obese, that, that's not a good thing because that's where diseases come in. The body's not at ease. Your heart has to work twice as, twice as hard. Your, high, your, 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 your blood pressure is super high. Your super high blood pressure. Nah, man. Anyway, there you go. So another thing too, when you cook your meals, make sure you cook more vegetables than, uh, than, than proteins. Your, your, your plate should be more veggies than proteins. All right? So once again, like I said, this is, this is an idea of how to cook real meals. You know, keep it, keep it uh, simple, keep it plain. I myself am going to eat later. That's my dinner. And I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to eat all of this. Matter of fact, this is real food. You don't, that's another thing with real food. You don't, need, you don't need to eat too much. After a while, your body's like, okay, that's enough, enough, enough. But when you're eating that, that, that chemically proce processed garbage, that fast food, you, can, you, you, you binge on it, man. Because it's not real food. That's why. It's not real food. Real food, it don't take you that much to get filled, filled up. Okay? So hopefully you found this edifying, and I'll see you in the next one.